Welcome back, everybody. This is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique, and today I'm coming to you from outside. Yes, it is finally pretty much spring here. The weather's beautiful. We've got sunshine. The rain has gone away. So I always wanted to do this outside because winter can be long here. So can the beginning of spring it is typically raining and cold and dark so when it's sunny out i need to get outside plus this isn't really an educational video so i figured well keep it maybe a little more informal for you guys so today prep has officially started yes it has been long awaited we are finally here. Got my new numbers this morning. The recovery week is over, so we are back to normal training, which is feeling awesome. It's been two days, feeling great. That was a much, much needed break. Um, you know, sometimes you just don't realize how much you actually do need the break until you actually take it, and then you come back feeling refreshed. Like I said, Num new numbers are in from the check-in this morning with Paul. So we had a nice cut. So we dropped about 355 calories. So we took my carbs from 355 to 300. And we took my fats from 90 to 75. So th this is training day macros. Um, and then we also bumped up cardio by a little bit. So I was doing three days of 10 minutes of steady state and so we go right to four days 15 minutes of steady state cardio so that's where we're starting with our training days off days are pretty much the same all we did was really just drop 10 grams of fat so we went from 75 to 65 carbs stayed the same at 270 and of course protein always stays the same at 235 and then training Does the training change once we're in a fat loss phase or we're in prep? And no, we are we are keeping training the exact same. We're gonna continue to try and get stronger, um, which should be okay the first little bit of prep. But as we get later into prep, I'm sure it'll be a little bit harder. So uh, yeah, I am I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a good prep. Um, you know, I took took four years off. Uh, from from my last prep um, and and the biggest reason was it was because of my mental health um, you know this really isn't like something that I have talked a lot about um, but it's something that I've actually you know as a coach now I've run into quite a bit with with clients and uh, you know the mental health issues that they're going through and coming out of my last prep um, I was severely depressed um, and was actually diagnosed a few uh, months after after it was over. Um, you know, I look back and it was always there. Um, I think I just thought it was normal and never really thought anything of it or really pursued anything of it uh, until, you know, the really dark days after, after the last prep, uh, days where you know, thoughts of suicide were, were quite prevalent um, and were quite there. Uh, and I was thankful enough to have a, a good enough support group at the time that really pushed me to go see a doctor and, and get medication, um, which I did. Uh, I was diagnosed and it wasn't, you know, severe, severe depression that maybe some people do go through. Um, but it was it was there and, you know, got on medication and really started working on on myself and and my mental health um and doing another prep was something that i did not want to do you know and, and partly you know i'm still a little scared to do um knowing kind of what happened last time and is you know did prep cause the depression no did not but i think you know it, it did mess with my hormones enough to where it really rose to the surface um because I mean, it, yeah, like I said, like it's it had always been there. So, you know, this this decision to do this prep was a big one for me. Um, 
because I always knew one day I did want to come back to it and, and, and do it again and, and prove to myself, you know, mentally that I, that I could do this. Um, but it took, you know, that three and a half, four years to get to that point where I felt like I was ready again. And, you know, this is, you know, prep is no, no easy thing. Um, you know, I had to have multiple discussions with my wife, uh, about doing this again, um, because she did not want to see me, you know, go through or, you know, have what happened happen again. Like she wanted to make sure that I was mentally ready as well. And, and so did I. And so I finally reached a point where I felt like I was mentally ready for this and to, and to take this challenge on again. And so, you know, this is just so much more to me than, than just doing it to get shredded and to, to, and to look good. But, um, you know, I see it as a, as a life hurdle, a life battle, whatever you want to call it, just to, you know, to test my, my, my mental health, my men, I don't want to say that, but to test my mental strength, I guess. Um, and to just to prove to myself that I can do this. So, you know, weight training, uh, the gym has always been there for me. Um, it's always been a, a sanctuary for me. And so, you know, if, if, you know, if you are going through you know, m mental health stuff, um, whatever that might be, you know, I get it. It's not fun. Um, you, you just, you, you don't want to do anything that you actually know that you love doing. Um, and it's tough, but you know, I, I really believe that the gym, uh, and spending time in there, bettering yourself can, can yield so much therapy and yield so much, you know, benefits for, for that mental aspect and that mental side of it. Um, you know, it, it, it can push you and it can challenge you and it can make you see things differently and make you see yourself differently. And, and I know that this prep is going to be that, um, I'm going to discover different things about myself. Um, days are going, there are days where I know will be challenging and then I'm going to have to push myself, uh, outside of my comfort zone to, to get where I want to go and, and to beat myself essentially. So, you know, yeah, like that's, that's, you know, a lot of my mindset going into prep right now. And, uh, uh, just a lot of the reflections that I've had over the last you know couple of weeks is we've gotten closer to prep. But now that it has started, I just wanted to do this video and there will be a lot more. I definitely want to do a prep date update at least once a week. So, you know, make sure that you tune in and, um, you know, I hope that, you watching can glean something from this, uh, whether, you know, whether you're going through, you know, mental health issues or not. Uh, I still think there's always something to be learned by, by pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and that this is it. So yeah, I think that's going to be everything for today. So pretty heavy, uh, week one. Um, but those are just kind of all my thoughts in the starting, we're, we're at the starting blocks. We're just getting going now. So should be a fun prep. Should be good. Hit that subscribe button so you may, you know so you know that you can watch all these updates uh, as we go through this together next twenty to twenty five weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. I am gonna go enjoy some more of the sunshine now. Get out in the sun. Um, have a good one.